We have some big, big breaking news. Carvey, what you got? Yeah, we told you uh, a few minutes ago that the deal for Enzo Fernandez uh, to move from Benfica to Chelsea had been agreed in principle. I just got a message from somebody who's involved in the negotiations and he's telling me that the deal has actually been agreed. Wow. And he's saying that the deal was agreed an hour ago. So uh, that tells you how long it takes for us to get the information yeah. and uh, other journalists out there who are working very, very hard today to get the information. But what I'm being told is the deal was agreed within the last hour and as long as everything's done in time, Enzo Fernandez will be a Chelsea player, their number one midfield target, the player they've wanted all along. The player himself has also wanted to move to Stamford Bridge, although Benfica have made it very, very difficult for Chelsea. Uh, they're well within their rights. There was a release mm. clause and Chelsea have agreed to pay that release clause in a way which satisfies uh, Benfica. So as long as it is all sorted before the deadline, he will be uh, a Chelsea player. So he comes in for Graham Potter. That's what, seven, eight, oh, that's eight. Uh, that, is, the that is their eighth signing, signing of, this, of window. this window. It will take their spending uh, to £290 million in this window. So I think uh, that equates to more than half of the spending by all the clubs in the Premier League has been done by Chelsea. And as I said a few minutes ago, Chelsea have spent more money than all the clubs in the big leagues in Europe combined staggering what they're doing in the transfer market, not just this month, but of course last summer as well. When Todd Bowley wants a player, he gets a player. In a way, it's quite easy being a, a, a reporter covering Chelsea when it comes to transfers under these new owners because virtually every player they want, they end up getting. Normally when you cover mm. a club, some deals don't happen, they fall by the wayside, the club won't pay the asking price, but Chelsea are relentless and yeah. they have the money to be able to sign uh, the players that they want and that is exactly what they've gone out and done. We thought the Mudrick deal was amazing, an amazing amount of money to pay for a player, but they've just smashed the uh, British transfer uh, record to sign a player who a few months ago, last summer, he was moving for £10 million pounds yeah, it's incredible. from River Plate to Benfica. And I think uh, they will be very, very delighted at River Plate as well because they've got a 25% sell-on clause. Uh, so they stand to make, I'll have to get my calculator out, <laughs> uh, depending on the profit from the deal for them, uh, probably around £20, £25 million. Pounds. Brilliant news for River Plate. It is less Brilliant. than like 45 minutes now to get all of the paperwork done. They have to get it done by 11 o'clock, obviously. And if they're finding that they're not quite getting it all done by 11 o'clock, then they can still put that deal sheet in before 11. And then they have to uh, comply with the FIFA transfer matching system. So then they'll have until midnight to complete all of that paperwork. But Carve says it was done in the last hour. You would think now it's trending towards a positive outcome for, for Chelsea and Enzo Fernandez. Yeah. And one thing Chelsea have got to sort out before the Champions League game is trimming their Champions League squad. Uh, because now they've got too many players yeah, got uh, for that squad. So I think something like two, three players they've got to cut from that squad yeah. uh, before, Get it down to I think, next 25. couple of days they've yeah. got to sort that out as well. It's a big problem for Graham Potter, but they do have their man, says Carvey.